festivals around the world. Introduction This is New Year in China. New Year is a big festival for Chinese people. In China and all around the world, people walk in the streets, watch dancers and have fun. What festivals are there in your country? When are these festivals? What do you people do on these days? Discover! Now read and discover more about festivals around the world. Chapter 1 In the streets Come to the carnival. The carnival in Rio de Rio de Janeiro in Brazil is one of the biggest festivals in the world. It's always in February or March. There's a parade with big floats. There's music in the street. People wear colorful costumes. They dance and have fun. Discover the carnival in Rio Rio de Janeiro, Janeiro, Janeiro is all day and all night. Many people don't go to bed that night. On the same day, there's a carnival in Venice, in Italy, in Venice, in Italy. At this time of year, it's summer in Brazil, but it's winter in Italy. The weather in Italy is colder than in Brazil. In the Venice Carnival, some people wear long dress and clothes. They want to have fun, but they don't want to be cold. The day after the carnival, Christians start the time of Lent. Chapter 2 Lights For many festivals, people decorate their homes in India. People put lots of pretty lamps in their homes. For the festival of Diwali, they look at the lamps and think about their family and other people in the world. Diwali is usually in October or November. It's a very big festival. In Hindu, people in India and for Hindus all around the world. At the Jewish, Jewish festival of Hanukkah, people light candles on eight nights. One night they light one candle, the next night they light two candles. On the last night of Hanukkah, they light all the candles. In Hanukkah, it's, it's, Hanukkah is usually in December. Children have presents. Many families eat pancakes made with potato. They sometimes eat donuts too. Chapter 3 Families and Friends Eid 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 is the Arabic word for festival. Eid is a big Muslim festival. At Eid, people give presents to children and friends. Eid presents are usually money or things, like toys, candy, and new clothes. At Eid, Muslims think about their people in the think about their people in the world. They give food and money to hungry people and sick people. People wear new clothes at Eid. In the morning, they get up, wa wash, and put on their new clothes. They eat dates and cookies for breakfast. Then they go to the to pray at the mosque. Lots of people hug their friend. Later, they eat with their family. They also visit their grandparents and say happy Eid. Chapter 4 Three Kings In the, the story of Jesus Christ, three good people visited Jesus when he was a baby. 
we give him presents. Later, Christians called these people the three kings. In January, Christians has a festival called Twelfth Night. It's called Twelfth Night because it's twelve nights after Twelve nights after Christmas, at this time, Christians think about the three kings who visited Jesus with their presents. In some countries, people eat a big cake. Twelve night, it's a big festival in Spain. There are lots of parents with people in costumes. People throw candy to children in the streets. On 12th night, check, discover, on 12th night, Spanish children put their shoes under the Christmas tree. In the morning, they find presents in their shoes. Chapter 5 Spring Spring is a very pretty season. Maybe it's just maybe it's the prettiest season of all. It's usually sunny and there are lots of flowers. Flowers. What you mean? Yeah. Oh wow, wow. In Japan people love cherry in Japan people love cherry blossom. They think pink fl- these pink f- flowers open in spring between January and April. People have picnics under the cherry tree. They they sit and eat and people have picnics picnics under the cherry tree. They sit and eat and they look at the cherry blossom. In Ghana Ghana the rainy season starts in May. It is good for the farmers. So they have a big festival called Humovo. There are parade, parades in the streets with music and dancing. Villa Franca in Li, do, Villa Franca do Lima is the Portugal. Villa Franca do Lima is in Portugal. In May there's a festival here. With lots of flowers, gold carry flower flowers on their heads. The flowers are heavy. Chapter six. Thank you. Fall is the season of festivals all around the world. It's the season of the harvest. Farmer cuts the crops and pick the fruit. After the harvest, people want to say thank you for the good things in the world. In South Korea, there is a big festival called Chuseok in September or October. Families eat traditional food like rice, cakes. Sometimes people also dance. In the USA, the festival of Thanksgiving is in November. In Canada, it's in October. People have dinner with their family. They eat turkey and pumpkin pie. In Europe, there are lots of festivals after the harvest. In Poland, girls wear crowns made of flowers. They dance and sing songs. In Italy, people In Italy, people wear wear traditional costumes and they dance with wreaths. The wreaths are made of wheat. Chapter 7 Chapter 7 Birthdays (laughs) Christmas it's the birthday of Jesus, Jesus Christ, and it's a big festival for Christians. Many people have a Christmas, Christmas tree in their homes, and they are pretty, 
and there are pretty decorations in the streets. All around the world, Sikhs have a festival of Guru Nanak's, Guru Nanak's birthday in November. Guru, Guru Nanak was a great teacher. Some Sikhs go to the Golden Temple in India. On Guru Nanak's birthday, there are thousands of lamps at, at this temple. Vesak Day is sometimes called Buddha's, Buddha's birthday. On this day, Bud, Buddhists think about Gautama, Buddha's Gautama Buddhas. He was a great teacher in India. They decorate statues of Gautama Buddha. Vesak Day in, is usually in May. Discover! On Vesak Day in Indonesia, thousands of birds fly into the sky. Chapter 8 Midsummer In June, it's summer in Europe. It's usually warm. The nights are short and the days are long. The longest day in the year is June 21st. It's called Midsummer. At this time, there are many festivals in Europe. People make big bonfires. Discover in Finland and other countries near the Arctic, it doesn't get dark at Midsummer. There's no night. In Russia, at midsummer, people sing and dance all night. Girls pick flowers and make pretty crowns. They throw the crowns into a lake or a river. Midsummer is one of the biggest festivals in Sweden. People decorate their homes with leaves. They make a big pool with flowers and leaves. They dance around the pool and sing song. They wear traditional Swedish costume. Girls make pretty crowns with flowers. Chapter 9 Halloween October 31st In Halloween, children wear costumes in the evening. They knock on doors and people give them candy. At Halloween, some people buy a pumpkin. They cut holes in the pumpkin to make eyes, a nose, and a mouth. They put a candle in the pumpkin to make a lantern. A lantern and a scary face. Stores sell, pump sell Halloween toys like skeletons and spiders. People aren't really scared at Halloween. It's fun! The day of after Halloween, it's a Christian festival called All Saints Day. This is a very big festival in Mexico. People think about their families and visit this cemetery. It's not a sad festival. People have fun. Children have candy and they play with their brothers and sisters. Discover! In Guatemala, on All Saints Day, people fly really big kites. Chapter 10 New Year All around the world, there are big festivals. For New Year, people in different countries do different things. In Spain and Portugal, people eat 12 great at midnight on December 24th. In Japan, People like laughing at midnight. They say start the year with a laugh. Then all the year is happy. In Thailand, people throw water in the street. They have water all over them, but it's not a problem. The weather in Thailand is always hot in New Year. At New Year, many people watch fireworks. Little children sit on their mother's or father's shoulders so they can see the fireworks. The fireworks go up to all the people says, the fires go up and all the people says, Happy New Year! Discover! 
in Sydney in Australia, there are usually more than 80,000 fireworks at New York.